Hello lovely people, welcome to the Flexibility Focus. This class is aimed at helping you build flexibility and mobility in your hamstrings. We'll start by taking a forward fold. Separate the feet a little bit wider than hips width. Bring the hands to the crease where the hips are. Take a breath in, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forwards. And as you fold forwards, bring opposite hand to opposite elbow. And let the head and neck relax. The knees can bend here, the legs don't have to stay straight. We're just gradually inviting the hamstrings to open up. Begin to find a deeper breath. Gently rocking the body from side to side and letting the whole torso hang for a few moments. Let everything go. Continue to deepen your breath. Let go of the elbows. Take a breath in and lift the torso halfway. Breath out, fold forwards. Plant the hands, step the feet back for plank pose. Take a breath in plank. As you exhale, lower down through chaturanga or lower the knees if you need to modify. Come all the way down to the belly. Bring the arms forwards, find your way to Sphinx. Take a breath in Sphinx. As you exhale, pull the chest forwards, lower the chest down to the mat, and find your way to Downward Facing Dog. And it's okay if the heels aren't all the way on the ground and the legs don't need to be fully extended. Give yourself time to ease into position. Begin to walk out the legs. Shift the weight from the hands and from the feet. And then take a breath as you settle into stillness. Find an even pressure between hands and feet. Lift the gaze, look forwards. And then tiptoe the feet towards the hands, forward fold. Let everything go. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold all the way down. Plant the hands, step the feet back, plank position. Take a breath in plank. Exhale, chaturanga or modify. Inhale, sphinx position. Exhale, pull the chest forwards. Lower the chest down, find your way to downward facing dog. Take a breath to settle in and a long exhale out, breathing with sound. Step the right foot to the middle and lift the left leg, three-legged downward dog. Keep the hips square, spread the toes wide. And press through the ball of the left foot. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bend the left knee, step left foot in between the hands. Inhale, lift the arms, ground down through the feet, high lunge. Press down through both feet so the legs are very active. And then soften the arms to the side body. Bend the back knee and lower the back knee just to hover down to the mat. Tuck the tailbone down, draw the navel in. So there's a lot of engagement here. Keep the back knee hovering, although the legs are going to begin to shake. Stay with it for one more breath. Inhale. Exhale, lift the arms, take a breath in, extend the back leg. Exhale, lower the hands, step back, plank pose. Breath in. Exhale, chaturanga or modify. Inhale, find your way to sphinx. 
Exhale, pull the chest forwards, lower the chest down. Find your way back to downward facing dog. Take a breath to settle in. And a long exhale out. Step the left foot to the middle and lift the right leg, three leg down dog. The hip stays square. Spread the toes wide, press through the ball of the right foot. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bend the knee, step the right foot in between the hands. Inhale, high lunge. Ground down through the feet. Activate both legs. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bring the arms to the side, bend the back knee and hover the back knee off the mat. Tuck the tailbone down, draw the navel towards the spine. And stay with it even though the legs are shaking. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Lift the arms, inhale. Extend the back leg. Lower the hands, step back, plank pose. Take a breath in plank. Exhale, chaturanga or modify. Inhale, come to sphinx. Exhale, pull the chest forwards, lower the chest down. Bring hands below shoulders, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. And a long exhale out. Step the right foot to the middle, lift the left leg. Three leg downward dog. Bend the left knee, step the left foot forwards. Inhale, arms up, high lunge. Extend the front leg and reach the arms forwards. Keep the torso parallel to the ground. And you have the option to keep the arms reaching forwards or bring the hands to the hips. Draw the chin to the chest, let the back of the neck lengthen. And draw the left hip back and the right hip forward so hips are square. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Lower the hands to the mat. Bend the back knee. And begin to sit the hips down towards your back heel. And hover the back knee off the mat. Flex the front foot and from here just find a little bouncing motion. Sinking the hips down and then using the power in the back leg to lift you back up. This is very gentle. And you can exaggerate this movement or you can keep it quite minimal. Take another breath in. Exhale out, lower the front foot, bend the front knee, step back, plank pose. Take a breath in position. Exhale, chaturanga or modify. Inhale, sphinx position. Exhale, pull the chest forwards, lower the chest down, downward facing dog. Breath in. Breath out. Bring the left foot to the middle of the mat. Lift the right leg. Three leg down dog. Bend the right knee. Step the right foot in between the hands. Inhale, arms up, high lunge. Extend the front leg. Begin to reach forwards. Hinge from the hips. Draw the right hip back and the left hip forward slightly. And the arms can keep reaching forward so the hands can come to the hips. Draw the chin to the chest, let the back of the neck lengthen. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Another breath in. Exhale out. Lower the hands to the mat. Bend the back knee and lower the back knee. Flex the front foot and begin to find those little bounces again. And you're really going to begin to feel this in the back of the front leg. Okay. 
Continue to breathe deeply. And take this for one more breath. And then bend into the front knee, lower the front foot, step back, plank pose. Breath in plank. Exhale, chaturanga or modify. Inhale, find your way to sphinx, gentle back bend. Exhale, pull the chest forwards, lower the chest down. Find your way back to downward facing dog. Settle into the hands and into the feet. Bring the right foot to the middle, lift the left leg. Bend the left knee, step left foot forwards and lower the back knee. Inhale, arms up, lower lunge. Tuck the tailbone down and lift the ribcage away from the hips. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, lower the hands either side the body and shuffle the front foot further forwards and extend the leg. Flex the front foot, half split. Take a breath in, lift the torso. As you exhale, fold forwards, draw the chin to the chest, back of the neck lengthens. And settle in. Continue to breathe deeply as you take this to whatever depth is available. Inhale, lift yourself back up. Walk the hands close to the body, bend the front knee. And edge the left foot, the front foot to the side of the mat. Bring both hands to the inside. Tuck the back to lift the back knee. And begin rocking the body forwards and backwards in lizard. Continue the awareness of the breath. So you're always focusing on what is happening with your breathing, becoming more and more fascinated by each inhale and exhale. Lower the back knee and then settle into position. So you can stay up on the hands or you can lower down to the forearms or maybe you just walk the hands further forwards, whatever works for you. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Soften the space around the left hip. Let go around left hip. Take another breath in. A long exhale out. Inhale, lift yourself back up. Edge the left foot back through center and then step back plank pose. Take a breath in position. Exhale, chaturanga or modify down to the belly. Inhale, gentle back bend, take sphinx pose. Exhale, pull the chest forwards, lower the chest down, downward facing dog. Breath to settle in and a long exhale out. Step the left foot to the middle and lift the right leg, inhale. Exhale, step right foot in between the hands, lower the back knee. Inhale, lift the arms, lower lunge. Lengthen the entire torso. Exhale, lower the hands. Shuffle the front foot forwards, extend the leg and flex the foot. Take a breath in. Exhale to fold, to draw the chin to the chest and allow the whole upper body to melt over the front leg. Continue to breathe deeply as the intensity of the posture begins to rise. There's a tendency to forget our breath, but our breath can really help us work through discomfort and find a place where we can be more at ease. Inhale, lift yourself back up. 
Bring the hands closer, bend the front knee. And edge the right foot to the side. Bring both hands to inside right leg. Tuck the back toe, lift the back knee. Begin rocking yourself forwards and backwards. So we find a little bit of movement in lizard. And then when you're ready, lower the back knee and settle in. You can either come down to the forearms or walk the hands forwards, or it may be that you stay exactly where you are. Begin to let everything settle. Inhale, lift the body back up. Edge the right foot to the middle of the mat and step back plank pose. Take a breath in plank. Exhale, chaturanga or modify. Inhale, find sphinx, gentle back bend. Exhale, settle back down. Bring the hands back, tuck the toes. Find your way to downward facing dog. Take a breath in, lift the gaze, look forwards. And then step the feet to the hands. And the feet can be hips width or closer. And fold forwards. You can grab a hold of your upper arms. You may grab a hold of the backs of the ankles. Anywhere that feels comfortable for you. Just allow the torso to hang. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Take another breath in. And a long exhale out. Inhale, come up halfway. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, soften all the way back down into your forward fold. Ground the hands. Step the feet back, plank position. Lower the knees. And sit the hips down to the heels and spin the legs all the way forwards. Find your way to Dandasana. Extend the legs and flex the feet so the toes curl forwards. Bring the hands either side the body. Inhale, lengthen the torso. And as you exhale, begin folding forwards. And you can walk the hands up the mat. They may bring the hands to the feet or they may even come past the feet. For me, I'm very short, so my body proportions mean that this is much easier for me. But if you're taller, you've just got further to reach. Relax the head and neck and settle in. Continue to breathe deeply. Inhale, begin to lift yourself out of your fold. Point the feet, place the hands behind you. Press into the hands and the heels. Lift the hips, reverse plank. And you can gaze down the length of your body. Or you can lift the chin and gaze behind you. Keep pressing into the hands and the heels. Lift the hips a little bit higher. Take a full breath in. Exhale, lower the hips down with control. And lower yourself down to lying on the back. Hug the right knee into the body. And interlace the hands in front of the right knee. Begin to rock the knee from side to side. And then bring the hands around the back of the knee and extend the right leg. 
And again, the hands may just be around the back of the thigh, back of the knee, or it may be that you can reach the hands up to take a hold of the outsides of the foot. Begin to draw the leg closer to you. Keep a flex in the foot so leg muscles are switching on. Continue to breathe deeply. And with each exhale, seeing if you can draw the leg a little bit closer. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. One more breath in position. Exhale, release the leg, let it go all the way back down to the mat. And switching sides, hug the left knee in. Rock the knee from side to side. Finding a little bit more space around left side hip. Then bring the hands to the back of the left leg, extend the leg, flex the foot. Find a placement for the hands that works for you. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, draw the leg closer. So you begin to feel almost like the back of the left leg is awakening. You're very aware of the stretch there. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, draw the leg closer. Once more, inhale deeply. Exhale, draw the leg closer. One more breath here. Exhale, let the leg go completely. Now lift both legs at the same time. And you can bring the hands to the backs of the legs or they may even come to the backs of ankles or the outsides of the feet. Begin drawing the legs closer to you. Almost like you're trying to hug the legs into the body. And here you can rock from side to side very gently. This is a really nice way to massage the spine. And then flex the feet. Feel the muscles in the legs switching on as you do so. Continue breathing deeply. You can continue experimenting to what extent you take this. Take a final breath in position. And as you exhale, let the legs go all the way down to the mat. And take rest, find Shavasana. Let the feet roll out to the edges of the mat and soften the shoulders down the back. Stay here for as much time as you need to feel rested and restored. When you're ready to come out, start by moving the fingers and the toes, gradually waking the body back up. Hug the knees into the chest. 
and then roll over to one side. Feel the support from the ground. And then find your way back to a comfortable seat. With the eyes remaining closed, bring hands into prayer at heart center. Connect to your heart space. And from this place of love, Thank yourself for this time that you've spent working upon your own practice. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.